Hi friends, welcome to PS Desire Photoshop and Photography Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to create visual depth to your photos with color using Photoshop and Lightroom. Here is the image I am working on for this tutorial which was shot using Nikon D800. To get started, first open your photo in Photoshop. Then duplicate the background layer Ctrl plus J or Command plus J keyboard shortcut or simply right click on the background and select duplicate layer. Now convert this background copy to smart object. To do that, right click on the layer and select convert to smart object. Now I am going to open this background copy in camera raw filter. Select the layer to activate then go to filter choose camera raw filter now the layer opens in camera raw filter if you are working on lightroom you simply follow my steps which i'm going to apply for this tutorial because camera raw filter and lightroom are pretty much everything was same so you don't need to worry about for photoshop users simply use camera raw filter for lightroom users you simply open photos in Lightroom and then change the settings what I'm going to do now in the develop tab. Now we are in the basic adjustment settings. First I'm going to lower the highlights, increase the shadows to enhance the dynamic range in the image. Now the whites are a little bit higher side so I'm going to lower the whites now i am increase the vibrance little bit and lower the saturation to give some dull look but the colors will be in pretty much visible now i am going to hsl adjustments in here we can play with the colors first let's select hue tab and select red first of all we will change the red colors of the let's give some pinkish lip color which will match with the flowers now increase little bit of skin tones and also yellows little bit in greens in the background i want to make it look like an yellow color so that i'm going to drag the greens towards the yellow side which change the greens to yellows in the aqua it is the her dress color i i want to keep it same but i want to add little bit of um, cyan to the dress so that i will drag the blues towards the cyan color now in the flowers purples and magentas i will i will drag little bit towards the end which gives the her lip color the flowers colors are now with match with the her lips color now go to the saturation uh, let's let's pop up the colors of the flowers little bit and also her dress and the greens in the background which are yellows and also the yellows the skin tones And little bit of reds now go to luminance and i will add some little shine to the lips and also little oranges i don't touch with yellows and also greens let's add some little brightness to the sions address and little bit darken the flowers little bit okay now go to split toning in here i want to add some yellow tones to the highlights which gives the golden hour look so to do that i will add saturation of 15 and i will drag the hue to yellows which gives yellow yellows to the highlights for shadows i want to use some blue tint to the image
okay now go to the tone curve and i will i would like to add some contrast i will select mid contrast or strong contrast it depends upon your personal preference in this case i am going to use the medium contrast now go to details tab i am going to increase the sharpening to 60 percent and i will reduce the noise in the image by 50 percent i will increase the details luminance details to 100 now go to effects tab add some vignette effect little bit i'm going to add 35 percent minus 35 which makes the edges little bit darker and it will drag the viewers attention towards the center of the subject now i am very pretty much happy with the overall image and click ok final step i would like to add some pinkish tone to the overall image which is the color of the flowers so to do that i am going to add solid color adjustment i am select i will select pink color and change the blending to color dodge now select the fill adjustment and lower the fill percentage just i'm going to keep it at 20 percent which will add the pinkish tone to the skin tones and the overall image i would like to little bit i will change the little bit lighter side of the pink and click ok and we are done here is the before and after before and after before and after if you want to change any settings you just simply click on camera raw filter again or you can change any setting you want i'm going to i'm going to keep the color of the flowers to magenta purple and click ok okay i am very happy with the result here is the before and after before and after if you want you just simply go on and add some color look up 3d loots which gives the different look different color effect it okay, depends upon your personal choices in this case i am going to add the kodak 5025 fuji look which gives some different vibrant color effect and i will lower the opacity way down to 50 percent and here is before and after before and after thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe for more tutorials for more daily updates please follow us on facebook and instagram see you again in next tutorial take care